I thought I was supposed to get this yesterday or the day before, but it didn't happen. The package got delayed and I was waiting and waiting and waiting. I had my makeup on and everything that day, but now we're on the 18th, which is a Monday. So let me get a browser up. That way I can better lighting. There we go. So this is the package and I ordered three bags so I'm really confused but it says it delivered like the whole thing on my tracking website says it's delivered so I don't know if this is everything or not but I hope it is. It's kind of a surprise regardless because it's like assorted stuff. So... Oh! My view closed out of the room. Whatever. I'll worry about that later. Because I have been dying for this package. And we got bubble wrap. You can already see it. My friend and I ordered at the same time pretty much. But she got her package sooner than what I did. Oh, okay. Now I'm not confused. Like, these are the bags. And that's all I ordered was these bags, so... That's why it was just in a little envelope. Okay. Okay, okay. So this is the Cyber Monday bundle. The other bundle, but I can't tell yeah I feel like this one yeah, it says parking, so that's the perfume bundle that I got for my sister I don't know if I'm going to open that but I got these bundles so let's open this because I didn't order anything else. I just wanted to get these little bags and see what it was like. So... I know they said samples, but sometimes, like... Companies will give you like a deluxe sample and stuff like that and it ends up being a decent size so I just kind of went for it to see what it's really like to do this bag. So you get a naked skin, little urban decay, little um, perfume, well not a perfume, what the hell. It is a hybrid complexion perfecter. smells pretty. But yeah, I mean, it's usually like $25 to do this kind of bag, but I think it might be a little different then. I'm not sure. But all I know is that they're usually $25. I pay four for each. So is it worth it? Is it not worth it? I don't know. But these are very, very small samples. So I am kind of surprised that they're this tiny. I didn't really think they would be so tiny. Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. I might be able to use one of my other concealers and try this. The thing is, is this is cool and I've wanted to try this, but it's in the shade Neutral Medium. And nothing about my skin is medium. <laughs> so, unfortunately that won't do too much for me. Now we got Ambient Hourglass in Mood Light, which is a light correcting primer. That might be useful. Yeah. Come on, beach. It's gonna end up like flying up in my glasses. There we go. Had to bend the tube. 
because it's ambient and all that, I wanted to see if it was like shiny. There it is on my thumb. I don't think you could even tell that at all. It looks just kind of like a concealer or foundation or something that's like tinted and gives a little bit of a sheen. <laughs> I don't think I really like the smell to that though. So yeah. If you're trying to do the bags, if you got a hold of that deal and got the bags, it might be a little not so thrilled because everything looks so super tiny. But I mean, for $4, I guess I can't really be mad. And this is a little eyelash comb. I would never saw this before. It's like legit like metal. You would go through and get your eyelashes like declumped. That's a word. Unclumpy. So that's neat. Never had that before. So that's that for that bag. And I'm just going to open this bag because the perfumes I was planning to give to my sister. I could give it to her like that. That way if she liked another perfume, that would be for her. It wasn't really for me. So. I like the color of this bag. So let's see what this one gives us. I'm surprised though that they gave this like the package was here before 8 o'clock which is what the time said it was supposed to be. I don't know if it was really sitting on my doorstep by 536 but that's what it says on the website so I don't know. Because I didn't hear my dogs bark so I don't know. But yeah, I said it was here before the date given. Ooh, we got a Studio Gear number 16. And I honestly would not know what a Studio Gear brush is supposed to be. I'm guessing this is like a foundation brush or a concealer brush. It feels really nice. But I don't know if this is synthetic or not. Hope it's not animal hair. Because I don't want animal to be killed, hurt just for the fur. Anyway, we got bigger samples this time, thank goodness. We got the Hey Honey Take It Off Exfoliating Honey Peel Mask. Ooh. Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. That's a decent sample. And then we got Sephora Colorful Cheek Ink Gel. So these, if I got like two of these bags, I would say it's worth it for sure. But this is like dinky samples, but whatever. I get to try something new. And this is in the shade Peony. So this alone, I would say is like worth it because like these could last you a while if you're not using too much all at once. So whatever bag this was, it doesn't tell me, but whatever bag was in the purple definitely was worth it. Because these are like a generous sample size because each of these are things that you don't need to use a ton of. 
And if you don't need to use a lot of it, it can take you a while to like go through them. The peony shade is pretty. It smells like a perfume, like a Victoria's Secret Bath and Body Works perfume. It's pretty. And I think it kind of gives like a dewy from within, like skin type thing going on because it doesn't look overly shimmery. It's just like dewy. Like the light just goes off my hand. Smells pretty. I like this. I like the blush so far the most. I like the fact that they gave me a little mask I can try. That way if I ever were to be into it, I could purchase the real one. Like the full version. And I never really believed in like buying an eye primer. Like an expensive one. So I like the fact that this one can last you ages. You just use an itty bitty dollop of it. If you can even get it out of here. Looks like the product kind of like... Oh, it's like a waxy. Oh, okay, I was confused. I was thinking, is this like not going to work? Yeah, it's like a waxy. Almost like clay. Hope I can push it back in there because I don't want to waste the product. Yeah, I did not know what kind of consistency that was going to be at all. So I was really confused. But it looks... It has a weird smell to it. But it's like a whipped, moussey, but soft, like, eyeshadow primer. I never would guess this is eyeshadow primer. Look, look at the way it goes on your hand. It looks like, like a silicone. That's what it is. It's silicone. Pretty damn sure it's silicone. It does my baby primer that I always use under my foundation is silicone. So actually, that's kind of what it is, pretty much. So, if it is, you probably could even use it on your face if you dared to. But, that's an eye primer. What kind of primer is that? Photo finish shadow primer. I don't really know what exactly you gain out of this primer because other ones have like different benefits. But yeah. Makes my hand feel super fucking soft though. I just like the scent of that one blush. But yeah. That's it for those bags. I can't believe I waited all that time just for like this itty bitty package. It's a little funny. I mean, I don't think they would have to kill an animal for this, right? They would just like shave off their fur. But if it was like animal fur, I don't know. Because it's like it's bad enough I eat ear meat and stuff. I don't need to, but. I don't want fur brushes. That's just my thing. I wouldn't want that. But unless I like research where studio gear comes from, I guess I wouldn't really know. But the favorite products for me were the purple bag that have these. I like the fact that I had a little eyelash comb in the one bag, but I couldn't tell you which bundle it is, but the one bundle they give you like itty bit examples. And something is better than nothing, I guess. But at the same time, it's like you get how much in here? 0.10 fluid ounces, 
3.25 millil milliliters, which is 0 0.11 fluid ounces. And then in here, you get 5 milliliters, if this is even the full product, because some things on Glambot can be used and people sell them used. And I feel like at least the, uh, couple of these might have been used. It looks like this one may not be at all. It looks brand new in the package. But these were harder to squeeze out of the tube, so I don't know. This one looks all caved in already, but I think that's because I already, like, accidentally got a whole bunch of the eye primer out by mistake. So that was probably my fault. But yeah. Use them sparingly. They should be able to last you. Otherwise, I don't think the bag that had the samples was really worth $4 to me. Even though they are, like, name brands. But the bag that had the Sephora stuff, and the mask, and the Smashbox primer, that was worth it. So, I guess I'll just show you guys what's in here. And I can put them individually in, like, one of my little Christmas bags for my sister. If I give them to her, even though she already has a perfume I'm giving her. So this is just what's in the perfume bundle. I knew that it was a perfume bundle, or at least like it seemed like it was supposed to be. So we have a Cartier, or... Cartier, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced. I'm not even going to try to pronounce what this is, though. Because I'll just butcher it. But it just smells really pretty, really classy. And then we have little things in here. If they're squeezy tubes, are they really perfumes? Oh no. They're not giving you all perfume. But that's, I swear that's how it looked on the website. But this is a luminous fluid base. It's a fresh glow by Burberry, which is a nice brand. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna be using that for sure. Damn, look at that shine. Starting out good here. Can't really tell if it has a smell or not. I think I smelled something. And then we got a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. Hmm. Like I said, if you use these things sparingly, they could last you, so... Interesting. I never would have thought of a primer oil. And what's this? Ooh, it's a La Mer sample! Okay. La Mer is supposed to be, like, hella expensive, so... The fact I even have a sample in here that's La Mer is kind of like, holy shit, like... I just touched the border of, like, the really expensive shit. <laughs> this is the under eye concentrate. <laughs> I can't read anything that says. Because it, it's not in English. <laughs> so I don't even know what shade this would be or anything. Or if it... Maybe I don't really tell you a shade. Oh, maybe it's not even like a pigment at all. I just had a bubble in my mouth for you. I think this is like an under eye cream. And I'm pretty damn sure it's under eye cream. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a pretty smell, but like I can't identify what it is and that weirds me out. It smells pretty, but like fresh, but like I'm not into it all the way, and I... I, I, I don't know. But it's La Mer, and that shit's like over a hundred bucks like a bottle for the foundations and shit, so... I'm happy I have a La Mer sample of anything. 
Burberry is supposed to be expensive, but I don't know how much Burberry stuff is. Cartier. I want to say Cartier because I see the R, even though I know that you don't say the R. I'm pretty sure. So this definitely is a nice little splurge, too. I think I might give my sister the perfume and I'll keep the other stuff. Because I thought this was supposed to be a whole perfume bag, but I guess not. That's how they made it seem on the website, but I couldn't really tell you for sure. That's what I was... That's what I had in my head. Like, oh, it's a perfume bag. Because they had, like, different perfumes in the picture. But whatever. It is what it is, and I don't regret my purchase. It is. But when I first saw that envelope, I'm thinking, that can't be it, is it? And then it ended up being that it was that. It was just super super like what can I say I thought I was expecting like three of these total but the bags were smaller than I expected so my things are so tiny a lot of them I can put a brush here in this little elf bag I could put the smashbox in here the smashbox oil the it Bye bye under eye. I might be able to get away with it depending on how dark it is because salmony kind of colors can help with your under eyes. So we'll see. Smashbox blush, I really like that. And that actually looks like it could be the full product. I don't know how much they would really like give you, but this seems like a decent product size even if it's not a sample. The ambient hourglass. The little mask, the naked skin, one and done perfecter. I have like all these little things to try. It makes me happy. And somewhere over the rainbow, I have that brush. <laughs> there it is. So, yeah, a lot of that can fit in my little elf bag. Pretty nice. So, I'm not mad that it was like $12 for everything here. That bad, not bad at all. There's my package. Empty. If I didn't tear through this, it would have been cool to keep, but it was confusing me on how to open it. <laughs> So that's that. You could still put something in it, but I did the tear through it. I just like the color. But yeah, that was just my little glam bot opening. That Burberry thing is really pretty though. Though. Just makes you look so youthful and like glowy. Look at that on my knuckle. Alright, see you later. Thanks for watching.